up there enjoying a lovely walk by the river today um, I decided to go back to talking about esoterica um, this will be remembered from the book I was talking about whereby I was introduced to astrology at six years old and I'm remembering it sort of from there even though I've read it since um, but obviously I know a fair bit about astrology myself um, yeah it will kind of cheer me up because I, I kind of didn't mean to be on the camera and I was coming across too close to the camera and it was kind of not looking too good at one point um, so I, I, I was pleased with it but then I was kind of looking like that well anyway um, going back to the astrology um, we are now we've now just gone past the Cancer Gemini cusp which was my dad's birthday um, and with cuspal signs they'll get traits of one sign very strongly and then traits of another so it's kind of um, life can be difficult for those born on the cusp because they'll have two very different signs in in their astrological makeup um, the first vernal sign because in astrology you go by the Roman calendar so kind of life begins in the sign of Aries which is my opposite sign myself being a Libra and um, there are the pioneers of the zodiac they're ruled by Mars the planet of war and they're the type of person that crosses their bridges only when they come to them and they don't always have thought for the morrow but when the chips are down they'll be the right people to stand by you okay and they're a fire sign and they're a cardinal sign which means they're true to their warrior like mentality in that in that they take the initiative and they are the first of the card cardinal signs and following that we have Taurus which is an earth sign and being an earth sign they're solid and reliable and a tower of strength in an emergency my auntie one auntie Meg and grandma were Taurus born within one day of each other and they are very slow to anger patient um, as I say they, they have a care, caring nurturing quality like gardening they're ruled by Venus like Libra even though they're more of a solid kind of sign than Libra and they are a fixed sign so they won't start things but they'll stick to the guns Gemini which we're just uh, processing uh, yeah processing out of and um, the Gemini man is said to be married more to his job than to his wife because um, they they get bored very easily they're adaptable being um, an adaptable sign and uh, they're ruled by planet Mer Mercury the messenger of the gods which means they can take a bit of knowledge a long way they're talkative sociable communicative and of course they're an air sign and they are thought by their enemies to be too clever by half because they live by their wits they have um, a restless spirit with a thirst for 
knowledge and that was my dad's sign just about but he was right on the cusp of cancer which is a uh, we're now entering and cancer is a very different kind of sign because it's ruled by water rather than air it's a tenacious sign uh, intuitive and fluid in thought and mind because it's ruled by the moon and the moon is not one of the typical planets it's a luminary like the sun so there's only two astrological signs that are ruled by the moon and the sun and it's it's the first of the water signs um, so it being a crab however soft inside it's hard shelled and when we get to the last water sign which is Pisces the water is released fully because according to traditional astrology the further we get to the 12th month or the 12th sign I should say apart, apart from when we hit Aries which is the first sign so Aries is that fire that primal fire which sparks everything off and then as we proceed through the zodiac we um, we actualize in a way if you know what self-actualization means that is the traditional way of looking at things but very few people are pure zodiac signs because the first sign that we move by is our sun sign then we have a moon sign we've got an ascendant sign which is where the sun was on the horizon at the time of our birth and so it's the kind of the rising sign of the east and then uh, we have a mercury sign which could be in an entirely different well an, an entirely different type of star sign because the neighbouring signs are very different and often Mercury and Venus because of their place in the solar system will move on from the sun sign so for instance I I don't but I could have a Mercury or Venus sign in Scorpio or even Sagittarius possibly uh, which are different signs they're not the the only air signs are Gemini, Libra and Aquarius so they're called the triplicities because of that because they come in groups of three and the cardinal signs which mean means whether you take the initiative whether you're um, a fixed sign or an adaptable sign that they'll come in fours and they're called the quadruplicities and the polarities relate to the gender of the sign so I've given you a short break in the zodiac to explain further details and so as a result of this very few people are pure zodiac signs because we'll have inner planets such as the Sun the Earth, uh, Mercury, Venus and Mars and then as we move along um, we'll start becoming ruled by outer planets such as Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus and Neptune and once we get into Neptune and planet and Pluto which is now marked down as an asteroid 
they will become generational planets because they will not orbit in 12 months they'll, they'll take years so they'll affect whole generations of people together so as a result their outermost planets so as I was saying because they'll be all in different um, all our planets will be in different constellations or star signs we won't be pure zodiac sign which makes sense and because we're none of us apart from identical twins are born in exactly the same spot at exactly the same time your astrological sign is like a fingerprint because it will be different for everyone even if they've got similar traits which again makes sense doesn't it so where was i i was at cancer the crab um who have who are very kind and sensitive but very strong which is why they have a reputation for being crabby but if they're near the cusp like my dad they'll have gemini traits of a restless spirit and um a, an entertaining sociable side to them and I said that Cancer is a water sign and it's ruled by the moon. It's also a cardinal sign. So it's one of its quadruplicity is someone who takes the initiative. Even though it might be difficult for Cancerians as they are naturally shy. Um they're an intelligent sign. Next we will come to wait for it leo which is the king of the planets ruled by the sun and the lion is a powerful very proud animal they're a fire sign and the second fire sign after aries but their fire is the fire that controls a steam engine it's not the fire that destroys it's not a primal fire it's the take charge fire of a major general so they can be bossy but they warm and they have a heart of gold and they're ruled by the luminary which is one of the luminaries and the only two being cancer and leo and it makes sense that Leo the lion is ruled by the sun and that they're generally well liked people they make good managers they're good to work for um, they're generous not mean minded and as I say my auntie and my mum were Leos and their father my granddad was a Leo and it's a controlled fire it's not a Russian kind of primal fire like Aries who, who will m move mountains to get to the other side in a way which is very courageous but they tend to um, they tend to be aware of other people a bit more because as I say the the star signs ascend in their or actualize in their quality of actualization um but Aries make very good buddies, as I said before, because they're very strong being ruled by Mars um so we're moving on up to Virgo, which is an earth sign. And the earth signs tend to be pragmatists and they rely on the facts. So they're probably the least likely uh, people to believe in astrology. Uh, Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn, for instance, will sort of be sceptical. And Virgo will be one of the most sceptical 
Capricorn may have a mystical side because of course they're a goat with a fish's tail so once they've exhausted their down-to-earth qualities they may desire to seek something deeper and explore the history of modern psychology because I think astrology was a kind of medieval psychology um, I don't read my um, I don't really read with any gravity what it says in the paper or the columns I just like to study traditional astrology and I um, I'm into personality profiling but um, not not vague stuff like your sun sign means that if you were all born under the same sun sign you've all got similar traits because we're made up of eight different planets and then outer planets and asteroids as well figure into it so it it's um if you follow it it makes no, no two people are the same in character which makes sense whether you believe it or not but earth the virgo sign is critical discriminating down to earth they they like solid fa facts but they have um a different quality to them being ruled by mercury the messenger of the gods uh, they like their information and they're into current affairs but they're not a bossy kind of person they, they've got a sense of humility um, and they have a high regard for other people they want to be of real service to other people moving on from Virgo we come to Libra and I first got into um, astrology because I was really flattered by my own star sign reading about it um, when I was about six years old as I say uh, it really made me feel special I kind of thought I was special as a very young kid until other people sort of knocked me or tried to trample me down um, and the Libran woman um, has the full Venusian, Venusian qualities because Libra is ruled by Venus but even the men are quiet and easy going unless they've got unless they're near the cusp of course they've got planets and other signs that is how they're supposed to be and with Aries it's the men who are more aggressive and the ladies uh, if they're typical females are female heterosexuals they're um, into trends and fashions and uh, they're quite good with money managing but they're not as aggressive um, Mars is also exalted in Capricorn uh, so the men tend to be hard and tough and this is invariably softened in the women um, Libra going back to my own star sign it's a pair of scales it's also the only inanimate object um, ruling a star sign and it actually looks like the actual constellation and it's so that means that we're completely in air uh, uh, people that are born in the middle of Libra like myself make good judges and barristers and stick to the facts and stick to but they are fact that they they are fair-minded because they're ruled by Venus which softens them so uh, uh, Venus being so strong in Libra and because they have a very imaginative communicative side to them 
makes them lady overall lovers and um, diplomatic. He, uh, nice to know all this, you know, take me at face value. And that the vices are shallow, unlike the more martial signs. And, but they have a tendency because they like to balance everything of not making their mind up. And uh, some people, that they say they're a bit overindulgent, a bit, um, they don't work off their energy like Aries. So even though they're nice people uh, that like to please others, and uh, their flip side is the Aries side, because the sign six months from your star sign will be your shadow side so they repress the argumentative side and then it will come out um because they probably got trampled on to be honest um but they're very socially aware diplomatic ruled by venus and a bit airy fairy but perhaps lacking in a certain initiative despite being the first person to hold out their hands um, to acknowledge someone making them cardinal in that way Virgo are an adaptable sign so they'll fit in with the that they don't make good leaders but they're very good at managing people and they adapt to other people and Leo is a fixed sign because once Leo makes up its mind it won't budge so it helps me that I've got my ascendant in Leo which is the face I show to the world or the camera or whatever so I can be strong um, and Cancer is another cardinal sign as I have mentioned Gemini naturally is an adaptable sign because they're ve being very versatile jack of all trades that explains part of the Gemini character description and Taurus is fixed and solid so we've gone we've gone through more than six zodiac signs now um, next we've got Scorpio which is a deep sign um, as I've got my moon sign in Pisces I've got a few Scorpio friends and Capricorn as well um, because Pisces being water is compact it is compatible with other water or earth because the water soaks the earth so it's a, a medieval idea but um, the four humours are used uh, in the Maya Briggs indicator personality tests to this day they used as a basis um, with the choleric, melancholic and sanguine temperaments which were truly medieval in origin and we don't use them as a basis because they're far too vague so astrology dates back in the western world to that time but it's many thousands of years old because stargazing um, began maybe nearly 10,000 years ago but uh, the Babylonians started it um, and then it, it the, the Romans um, got hold of it and introduced it to the Western world the ancient Greeks were big fans of astrology too um, Scorpio's a, a rather a fecund sign uh, fertile um, 
50 contradictory knock a uh, Scorpio man down and he'll he'll really rise up again and with his fist flying he's ruled by Mars traditionally but now he's ruled by that now they say Scorpio is ruled by and the outer planet of Pluto hence the irrepressible power Plutonic and they like all things taboo and they're extreme and they're clever and devious they'll hide their feelings they like to keep secrets so they don't really make good enemies and that the only sign that can sting itself um, the, the, the Scorpio apart from the bee is one of the few animals that can sting itself and certainly the other star signs do not and it's a water sign which is strange a Scorpio is um, associated with the scorpion which is a creature of dry arid weather conditions but they, um, they are actually ruled by their emotions and um, I, I had a Scorpio acquaintance who is quite nice but she said um, she's learnt not to hate so she was obviously very aware of human nature and um, she was reversing what her instincts told her so this suggests that Scorpio is a, a sign of emotions even though they're hidden. Next we go on to Sagittarius which is a fire sign but the fire is not a primal fire it's not a larger than life extra extravagant fire of well it, it, it can be actually larger than life because they like they're at the adventure uh, the crusader they like to travel um, but they don't like bossing they protect they prefer to f philosophize and they're quite moral so they've got a moral side to them um, which leaves them their vices open to hypocrisy a bit but they're warm-hearted very generous too generous sometimes and they're ruled by Jupiter by Jove um, the father of the gods and the bringer of jollity and they're broad and expansive in their knowledge they're very specific so they're not they're the opposite sign to Gemini as they're six months on from June and they uh, so the, the planet as I explained before six months on from the last planet they're the opposite sign so the opposite sign is the hidden sign of the star sign you have and the ascendant which is the planet on the horizon at the site time of your birth is the star sign I should say is the mask that you show to the world um, and how you appear how you appear publicly and the moon sign relates to your emotions and how you were as a child for instance I was quieter and um, shy and sensitive as a child because my moon sign is in Pisces but as I acquired more knowledge and confidence I became more sure of myself hence um, knowing more um, and being able to be resourceful with my knowledge and having an aptitude for words and criticism which is why the law naturally attracted me 
uh, something which would not have done as when I was a child, as I was more into animals and my family. So Sagittarius the Archer is the Crusader of the Zodiac and he's a worthy battler for a good cause. He's ruled by Jupiter and the fire sign or she even and once we get once we move on um, Sagittarius because they're ruled by Jupiter uh, they, they like to talk big and they can deceive themselves and uh, they're the eternal optimists really the glass is half full which is uh, a good vision for life um, and the more optimistic Billy Connolly is a Sagittarius and just uh, being born at the end of no um, towards the end of November and he says that being optimistic and having a positive mindset will help you in your life quest keep you keep you young help you survive the odds and my mum being a Leo uh, she's full intensity uh, very fiery but warm and uh, but she was born at the 13th which means uh, in astrology uh, or esoteric astrology that she'll break through the odds she's a survivor Capricorn are again ruled by Earth uh, Sagittarius going back to them were are an adaptable sign if I miss that bit out um because anything for an adventure Scorpio being Scorpio and very strong willed or fixed Libra again is likes to take the initiative um so they're cardinal Capricorn or cardinal because they take the